They're called the Florida Keys, but they are America's paradise. A string of tropical islands and atolls that stretches nearly 200 miles through the blue-green waters of the Gulf Stream. These gems, strung through a jeweled sea, attract millions of Americans and visitors from around the world. But there is an even greater treasure hidden just offshore. Like an aquatic crown surrounding the Keys, the coral reefs. For almost three years, a barge has been anchored off Key Largo. It hasn't received much fanfare or even notice, but it is to the ocean what Cape Canaveral is to space. A launch pad for aquanauts who are traveling to the Aquarius. An inner space station deployed 70 feet down on the edge of the reef. Aquarius is a joint effort by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the University of North Carolina. Aquarius allows scientists to accomplish in days what would otherwise take months or even years. Working from the surface at these depths, scientists can make only two dives a day and then stay only briefly on the bottom as they must allow for decompression. But by living at depth aboard Aquarius, they don't have to decompress until their mission is completed, allowing them to stay as many days and nights on the reef as their mission requires. As a consequence, this inner space station has allowed research on coral reefs to rocket ahead. Scientists from here make excursions down to more than 100 feet, and they have hours that they can spend. If you're diving from the surface without decompression, it takes you have only about 20 minutes. You get the kind of insight that you get when, for example, you go to stay in a city or stay in a forest for a while instead of just driving through. Among the members of the Aquarius crew on this mission, world-renowned marine scientist and explorer Sylvia Earle, the former head of NOAA. Dr. Earle believes Aquarius is an essential resource in restoring and preserving the reefs and the myriad of marine life they support. This is more than a home on a reef. This provides access to the sea in a different sort of way. It's as justifiable in, in many ways as having the investment in a space station. Uh, we could say, why not just send people up for bounce dives in the sky? But there is perceived to be a real reason to keep people up for prolonged periods of time, to get insights that you can't get from quick visits. And that's exactly the sort of advantage that having Aquarius sitting here on the reef for prolonged periods of time, allowing people to come and stay and to really become residents and to see the ocean from, and to see the planet from the inside out. Life support in the form of air and power flows to the Aquarius from the barge above, where another team of scientists and divers constantly monitors the activities and conditions below. All right, see you later. The surface crew also collects and catalogs the information and specimens gathered by the aquanauts. But their principal responsibility is the safety of those living and working below. To that end, this state-of-the-art dive platform is equipped with a hyperbaric chamber. Should divers suffer decompression sickness, or the bends, they can be treated right on site. Back on the bottom, the Aquarius aquanauts continue their research. But for how long? Regrettably, government funding for the project is in jeopardy. Science Director Stephen Miller. Coral reefs support a South Florida economy estimated at uh, over a billion dollars a year. That includes fisheries, diving, uh, recreational activities, and the health of the system, the condition of these reefs provide the foundation upon which people come down here to enjoy the, uh, the environment. You know, millions of people visit the Keys. Um, not too many get into space. Uh, a space shuttle mission, 500 million to a billion dollars, that's enough to run our program for over 500 years. Most importantly, we need to understand how the ocean works so people, first of all, can care and secondly, to take care of the ocean that takes care of us. <laughs>